year was 2012 in New Jersey. Our hero, Alaric, comes home from a long day at the surf shop that he owns, not knowing that today was the last day that he would ever see his family again. Hi, baby. You finally come home. Listen, Alaric. You're going to have to go and talk to Tara. She got in trouble at school again for acting out. I'm about to run out of things to tell her. Oh, boy. That's just great. More of our daughter acting out for those low-life kids she's been hanging around. Don't worry, I'll go talk to her shortly. Anyways, how was work today? I'll tell you what, the Jersey Shore hasn't been as packed in a long time. Like people from all over the place, we're out here today. I'm going to have to restock on surfboards very soon. Shoot. That's a lot of people, hun. You'll definitely have to go and lay down tonight. But go talk to Tara first. Somebody needs to drill some sense into her head. I'm going to go talk to her right now. Maybe I'll be able to get through to her. So I assumed Mother told you what I did. You are in some trouble. She didn't tell me exactly what you did. She just said you were acting out again. Want to tell me what you did? Well, that girl Brittany was being mean to me once again. I just finally decided that I've had enough of her and her meanness. So my friend Claire told me to deck her right in the face. And that's what I did. I don't know why it is that I'm the one that's in trouble. Brittany has been pushing my buttons for years. And the minute I tire of it, I get in trouble. That was wrong of you to hit her. You could have just went and told your teacher about that and they would have done something about it. The teachers at that school are jokes. They do no justice for anybody who needs it. And their ability to teach is like watching a four-year-old. And for you to let your friends influence you to hit somebody like that just isn't right. I really don't like you hanging around that Chloe anymore. That girl is a lot of trouble. She's going to end up getting you sent to jail one day. But, Daddy, she's the only friend I have in that whole school. Tara, when you have friends like that, you definitely don't need any enemies. You are not allowed to be around Chloe anymore and that's final. Oh! Okay, Daddy. I'll tell her we can't be friends anymore. Good. Now get yourself some sleep. You got school in the morning. Okay, Daddy. Good night. hipster looking fellow will make a good specimen for my experiment. Hi. What is this? Where am I? Who are you? You need not worry about any of that. I have pulled you off the streets to partake in the use of a special injection. The machine that I have placed you in will take care of it. So you sit back and relax because you are not going anywhere. Though this weird experiment the scientist performed on Alaric was a success, it also left him in a critical state. This experiment, though changed his appearance, it also nearly killed him as well. The scientist then threw Alaric in a ditch and left him for dead. But the police had found him and alerted the EMTs and had rushed him to a nearby hospital and later alerted Alaric's wife about the incident. She was shocked at what had happened to him. The doctors who had taken care of Alaric in the hospital were baffled by what had happened with him, and none of them could explain what it was that was going on with him. Oh! 
Oh, dear God. Alaric? Is that you? What the hell happened? I honestly can't even tell you. Not even the doctors can explain what's happening to me. All I remember is being abducted by a crazy scientist, and he stuck me in some machine that injected me with some crazy serum. No, it's changing my voice. Fuck. Whatever this crazy serum is he injected you with is turning you into some kind of animal. Kind of like a fox. I don't even know what the heck I'm going to do now. Like, I don't think I'll be able to do any of the things I used to do as a human. I can't show my face in public anymore. Can't go back to my surf shop. We definitely can't have sex anymore. Oh, don't say those things, Alaric. We'll try to find our way around all of that. I promise. I hope so, dear. I really hope these doctors can find a cure for this. This is horrible. I'm sorry to say this, Alaric, but there is no cure for this since this disease is an anomaly to us. Plus, the government has stepped in. You are not the only person in America who has been infected with this disease. The government is shipping you and several hundred more people to an unmarked island until a cure for this disease can be found. You might never see your family again. What? This can be happening? There is nothing I can do now that the government has stepped in. You have to leave. Without regard for the feelings of Alaric's family, they still took Alaric and dropped him off on an uncharted island along with hundreds of other people to whom had been affected by this strange disease. So I guess you're here on this island for the same reason that I am. Some nutbag scientist captured you and injected you with some kind of strange serum. Yeah, exactly. What a crazy question is how did they even get the DNA of a dinosaur to do that to you? That is a rather crazy question. Lucky for you, you were transformed into a fox. At least I think you're a fox. I really hate being a dinosaur. Yeah, no offense. I got to say that has to really suck. I hate having tiny arms. Can't do anything at all. Can't brush my hair. Can't clap my hands. Definitely can't masturbate for sure. Yeah, I didn't need to know that. Anyways, I'm going to go check out the rest of this island. Ah, uh, that sucks. You got lucky and got transformed into a fox. Here I am, a giant yellow chicken. Your transformation didn't go all the way through. I can see your human face within the mouth of the chicken beak. It's kind of disturbing, though. Man, I really hate this. I really miss being a human. I really want my arms back. You sound like you're awful young. How old are you? I am 10 years old. I was taken away from my parents and everything just a couple of weeks ago to be here on this island to fight for my life. Doesn't help when I've been cursed to be a chicken through science. That's not right. I can't believe they're even doing this to children too. If I ever get out of here, I'm going to make that scientist pay for what he's done to everybody here. Yes. Please do that for all of us here. Hey! Hello, is somebody over there? 
Please don't be afraid of me. You... You were infected with the same kind of serum I was infected with. I've found another fox. You two are a fox. Please step into the light so I can see you. Oh, my. I don't mean to sound forward, but you are cute. I have been alone here for almost a month. Thank you for finding me. No problem. I've been out here for about the same amount of time, and you're the first other fox I've seen out here. But it does make me sad that they took me from my family because of this. Like my doctor said, I may never see them again. Oh, no. I'm so sorry that they did this to you. I wish I could do something to help. I wish there was. Since there is no cure, we're probably stuck here forever. I'll have to start all over again. You don't have to look at this as a bad thing. Maybe this is destiny for the both of us. We may never get to go back to civilization, especially with this like this. Maybe what we need to do is stick together, you and I. Build a new life together. From then on forward, Alaric had decided he was going to remain in the forest and start a new life with Alice the Fox. He decided he would leave his old family behind and start a new one and embrace his new fox-like appearance. But he still had revenge on his mind as far as the scientist who did this to him. And he still planned to go seek him out. I thought doing things as a fox was going to be weird, but I was wrong. Last night was very romantic and sexy. I'm so happy that you decided to stay here in the forest with me, Alaric. You've definitely made me a happy woman. Even though I have embraced being a fox, I still have a lot of hatred toward the guy who did this to all of us. I still want revenge on him. What do you plan to do about this, my love? Well, it would be nice if I could turn him into the federal government or something like that. I can help you out with that a little bit. There's another island north of here past that mountain to the right of me. It looked like there was some kind of facility over there. Maybe our answers rest in there. If you do go over there, be very careful. I don't want to lose you. Don't worry. You will not lose me. Since Alaric was previously a surfboard store owner, he was able to create a surfboard using wood from the forest. He swam down the stream with it and made his way around the mountain and started heading to the secret island. Hey, what are you doing out here? You're supposed to be on the other island. There you are, you sick son of a bitch. What kind of cruel and screwed up experiment is this? You and a handful of scientists across the U.S. injected random people with this animalistic serum. I'm here to get my revenge on you. You really think you're going to kill me? Go ahead and take your best shot at me. But if you kill me, You'll never get to be human ever again and neither will any of those other experiments on the other island. 
but not like you'll ever be human again because there is no cure for what happened to you. You will live the rest of your life as a mutant animal. And if you do kill me, the government will probably destroy your little island home. But like they would believe you if you told them that I was the one who started this. I'm very surprised that it didn't take me long to find him at all. Though killing him put a lot of other people on this island at risk, I no longer regret who we are now. I'm glad you finally embraced being a fox with me. We'll now make this forest her home along with hundreds of other people. But the real question is what if those other scientists ever find that guy you killed? If they do then our island's going to be in a lot of trouble. So what do we do if that happens Alaric? I dragged him out to the middle of the ocean and dropped his body off. None of the other scientists on the island should be able to find him. But if they do find him, we're going to try to have this whole island prepared for the attack. So until then, let's just enjoy our time together.